What up there, bro, JT? Hey, man, I just, I told you that uh, I'd probably do a video response to your last video here, man, and about Jesus cares and about the sinner. You know, Doc, I don't know why we can't understand that some of us, we can't figure it out. That this is the whole reason why God himself had to come to this earth wrapped himself up in flesh his name was Jesus because of the sinner and why some of us can't get this I don't understand for this is the whole reason why the Lord himself came into this world this dark world to save sinners like me and to keep us from a burning hell. You know, dog, I sometimes we be misunderstood. If you have, then I say I'm gonna join the club and you and I know I have been misunderstood by people that didn't understand where I was coming from. Sometimes people will take what you say and twist it. They read what they want to in what you are saying. They read what they want to, to make it. And I don't know why we do that, but let old Mitty Man say a few things here. Uh, have Mitty Man seen God? No, I haven't. Have God opened the skies up and let Mitty Man saw things that was unspeakable? No, he's not. Did God draw, take Mitty Man up to the third heaven as he did Apostle Paul? No, he hasn't. Did Mitty Man see and speak with Jesus walking on the seashores of Galilee? No, he didn't. So what make Mitty Man feel the way he feels? Seeing that he has not seen God, Neither has he walked and talked with Jesus on the seashores of Galilee as the apostle Peter and John. Good question. What makes me believe is because of the fact of what I was reared up, what I was taught. I was taught and reared that this right here, was the absolute word of God written by men inspired by the Holy Ghost. So holy men wrote as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And I was taught that that was the final authority. And that was the word of God and that it could be relied on. That's what I was taught. I heard the gospel and I believe it in my heart. And I accepted it as the absolute authority. I heard about Jesus through the scriptures. And I believe on him through faith. No, I never seen him. Never seen him. But by faith, I believe that he came. He came into this dark world to save sinners like me. That's what I believe. Oh, I wish I could sit here today and just tell everybody that, yes, I was caught up and the Lord showed me the temple in heaven and he showed me and he told me this. I'm not going to sit here and tell them kind of lies to nobody because God ain't showed me nothing. I believe in my heart and what I have read and I believe it. Something inside of me just will not let me believe anything else. Now you call it what you will. You call it what you will. But Jesus came to save sinners. Why cannot we understand that principle? He loved the sinner. He, not the sin, but he loved the sinner. And he came to show... 
to be the example for us people. Jesus came. He died upon yonder's cross. He suffered in anguish, despised and rejected, all because of the fact that he was bearing our sin. In other words, that cross I should have been on. See, we always hollering about justice. No sub brothers, Buster, Buster Red, you don't want justice now. Come on now, you don't want justice. Justice demanded that we should die. Oh yes, sir. All of us, all of us, we deserve hell. That's what justice demands. But grace and mercy. That's what Jesus is. Grace and mercy. He took on. He took my sin. He took your sin. He took my mess. He took your mess. Even when we, in our best day, we are nothing compared to what Christ was. Yet and still, he did not feel it was robbery to lower himself in the form of a servant. Took on sin. Some went on the cross. That's why I should have I should have been the one nailed to that cross, not him. And he did it. And he would have done it if it had not been but you and me. He still went out and done what he did. People, Jesus loved sinners. We should love sinners. I'm not not to sin. People, come on. We it's not that hard to figure this out. Now I'm gonna hurry on. It's not that hard to figure this out now, people, if we want to. Over 2,000 years ago, the greatest love story ever been told. This is what Christmas means or should mean. I see God loving us so much coming into this dark world. King of kings. He could have been born in a, he, he, he could have been born in an elaborate motel, but he was in a lonely stable. He could have had a, and I heard him, I saw a movie in this guy. They called his name was Jess, but he was Jesus, supposedly being. And he even told a story about this here himself, and I loved it. I loved it because it's so true. God could have announced his son with all the elaborates and the stuff, because we would have done it. That's the way we would have done it. But nevertheless, he didn't go that route. He stayed humble and lowly. But yet and still, after all these years, Jesus never tried to make a reputation for himself, but we are yet talking about it. People are yet trying to take the Christ out of Christmas. To my Xmas. What is that? What is Xmas? It's Christmas. But we yet trying to take Christ. People, no wonder this world is in such a mess because we're taking God out. Every country, every society that ever dishonor God until we start honoring God again, nothing is going to go right. But you know what, people? Everything got to happen just like Jesus said it got to happen. This thing is culminating. It's coming to a head. Jesus, the King of Kings, is coming. Soon and very soon. And people, I want to be ready. No, I have not seen him face to face like I'm looking in this camera. But I can feel him burning within. I can feel him moving within. Yes, I'm human. I have a human side. God understands that. That's why he came down to be in this body like we had. So he would understand. When sometimes I don't understand why treat, people treat you so bad. Jesus knows all about that. Don't you come up here and get you so self-righteous now. That you done got so up and above everything that now. You better than Jesus. You don't feel nothing. You are lying. The truth ain't in you. You feel stuff too. Now we can rise above it through Jesus. But it's not because of we. It's not because of us, but it's because of him. This, Jesus is the reason for this season and every season. People, keep doing what you're doing, JT. Jesus loved the sinner. This is Mitty Man saying peace and goodbye.